Hey, hey, hey. So this is um me documenting uh, the last, well, it's supposed to be 48 hours up until um, my listening event. So I made a little five minute video yesterday and I'm gonna do the same thing today. I just dropped Jaslyn off at daycare and she is having a fit. Um, so on my way back home, probably have to go to the store again, try to minimize my store trips, but you know how that goes when you go to the store and you get stuff and then you forget it or whatever it may be. But all in all, I've gotten pretty much everything done for my listening party, except um, I still have to decorate the venue. Um, the food is not ready, but I have it. It's all at my house. Oh, my skin is so dry. I just literally got out the shower and washed my face and then dropped her off at daycare, so don't judge me. Um, it seems like, you know what, it seems like ever since I left Mexico. So when I was in Mexico in August, I got sunburned really, really, really bad. So after that, I was trying to minimize how much makeup I was wearing because the shades really weren't matching up right anyway. I got really dark down there. Um, the shades weren't really matching up, but not only that, I had a lot of sunburn on my face and on my shoulders and on my chest and on my back. So, um, I stopped wearing makeup for a little bit because my face was peeling really bad. Like, my skin has been so dry. And normally, like, normally I wash and then I'll tone, I'll use facial toner. And then, like, I exfoliate, like, once a week. And the last time I exfoliated, um, I have this exfoliation gel that like removes all the dead skin off of your face and I had so much dead skin and I'm like okay maybe I should just let this heal maybe I should just let the sunburn heal naturally and let it peel but it's like if I like the lotion that I use if I put that on it makes my skin so oily and I don't know if it's because it's just sitting there it's not actually getting I did not know that the Malibu was gone um I don't know if it's just because it's just sitting there on my face and it's not actually like, you know, soaking in or whatever, but it's really annoying. Like my face is changing and I lost my little, my little sun kissed color that I had. I'm getting back to my normal pale self. But anyway, um, so yeah, just documenting, uh, this one more day, one more day. So, um, my website went live yesterday. Um, and I'm really excited about that. Like, okay, so Josh, Joshua Mitchell is the one that did my website for me and he taught me how to use it and stuff. And so I took it, I, when I went to work, I had one of my coworkers pull it up and I'm like, Hey, just look this over and tell me what you think. And so she, um, she went through and she was like, Oh my God, I'm a, I'm a grammar freak. I got to fix some of this for you. I'm going to write it all out for you and then you can go back in and fix it. And so I'm like, well, I don't know if I, Excuse me, I don't know if I'm that good where I can go in and fix it. I'll try, but I'll go in, you know, I'll go in and fix it or whatever. So she writes it all out for me. And so I'm like, okay, let me just try this. So I um, log into my little management um, membership thing to manage my page and everything. And um, I fixed it all by myself. I didn't have to call Josh. I didn't have to ask him any questions. I didn't have to send him a long list of things to fix. I went in and I did it by myself. I'm growing up, y'all. But I still do need him for some stuff. But I actually was able to go in and fix some grammar errors and some, you know, fix some um, some dates and times on my events tab uh, all by myself. So if you have time today, go check out the Taria J. Bree website. It's www.tariajbree, T-A-R-I-A-J-A-Y-B-R-E.com. Um, I'm really excited about that. I still haven't heard anything back about my merchandise. I was supposed to have it yesterday. I haven't gotten it yet, so I'm just going to pray on that. But other than that, I'm feeling really good today. I'm feeling like today is going to be, I have the day off, so I have all day to get stuff done. Decoration wise, I'm a little stressed just because everything has to be made by hand. Um, and maybe once I get the venue all decorated, I'll record another video so everybody can see what kind of theme I'm going with. I really don't have a theme. I just want it to be um, fun. So, but I like some of the, got a lot of ideas in my head. So um, it's just time to actually get them together because we're down to crunch time, baby. 
So yes, I just wanted to go live, or not go live, I'm so used to being on Facebook, my lord. Um, I just wanted to record a little video. I don't know where the heck my husband went. He said he was going to the street. It's been almost an hour. So, um, I am going to go ahead and in this video, we're supposed to be going to the store in a few minutes. I think he's at a friend's that lives around the corner. So hopefully he'll be back here soon. Otherwise, I'm going to start taking my hair down and he does not want to go to the store with me with my hair like that. Mm. So yeah, day, one more day, one more day to the listing party is tomorrow, October 28th at 5 p.m. at 325 East Park Street, Faith Temple American Baptist Church. Social hour starts at 5. The listing event will start about 545, 6 o'clock. Um, during the social hour, we'll have refreshments, food. Um, yeah, we're going to have a coloring contest for the kids. We're going to do some drawings as well. And then I have a really big surprise for everybody at the end. So I'm really, really excited because nobody's going to be expecting this. And I don't think anybody's ever done this before. So I will record. I'll I'll make a video tomorrow tomorrow night when I'm there. And I'll also make my son go live on Facebook. Uh, maybe not live. I don't know if I want him to go live. Maybe, yeah, he can go live on Facebook as well. And we'll get it reco double recorded so then I can post it to my YouTube channel too. Um, but I got a really big surprise for people tomorrow. And I hope everybody is going to be okay with it. But I got something up my sleeve. Something really, really nice. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get off here and go in and get myself together. Figure out what to do about this dry, pale skin of mine. I wish I could just stay the color I was when I was in Mexico. I was nice and brown, and now I'm losing my brownness. I don't know. Okay, have a good day, everybody. One more day. I'm so excited. God bless.